Hello fellow junk lovers, stuff collectors, and kids at heart. My name's Charlie, I'm the Offbeat Collector, and I love stuff. And one of the things I love is Christmas, and Christmas ornaments, and everything you can find at the Hallmark store, basically. So, I went to the mall the other day, and I saw so much cool stuff at the Hallmark store, and I thought, why not make a video so that some people can share and all the cool things that I saw because I know not everybody has a Hallmark store in their area so it's nice to be able to see this kind of thing online without having to leave the house and go to the mall or hunt down a store they had so many cool Christmas ornaments so many ones that I want I love all the Disney ones. The Lilo and Stitch is super cute. I do a Disney tree. It's one of the many kinds of Christmas trees that I do at my house. Uh, I have a Disney tree, a Nintendo tree, a Harry Potter tree, um, a Nightmare Before Christmas forest. I do a lot of trees at my house. so. It's hard to find a Christmas ornament that I don't want. I really wanted that Oliver and Company one that was at the bottom, but they were already sold out of it, except for the display, and they're not selling the display ones yet because I guess they plan on getting more Christmas ornaments in, hopefully, but I definitely want the Oliver and Company. There's so many cool ones, though, a lot that light up and that make noise and music and all kinds of really cool things. I could stay in the Hallmark store forever. Those three ornaments interact with each other and play a song together, which was really cool. There's just so many things like I could go on a total shopping spree if I had a million dollars and just go in Hallmark and buy so much stuff because it's great. I mean, penguin sharing pizza with a polar bear, like who doesn't want that as a Christmas ornament? So many cool things. It's really hard to come out of this store without buying a lot of stuff. I did manage to only buy three things when I was in this store, so I tried to have a lot of self-control because I definitely wanted more than three things, but I settled on three things I wanted most and made myself leave. They did send me home with a Christmas ornament catalog though, which is really great because I love getting to look through that. They did have some Halloween ornaments. I love the tiny hedgehog and the pumpkin. So cute. That wreath was kind of amazing. It talked and said Merry Christmas and I like they got the moose cup Christmas ornament. I mean so many things. Such great stuff. I love the Hallmark store. I miss when I used to live in a small town that actually had a mall and I could go to the Hallmark store all the time. I really want that teeny tiny Eevee to go with my Pokemon ornament collection. I don't have enough Pokemon to do a Pokemon tree but I do a Nintendo tree and there's a lot of Pokemon ornaments that hang in that tree. Eventually I'll get enough ornaments that I can have my own Pokemon tree as well. There's just so many things that I love and I want. These ornaments are really cool. They got the little collections. There's new Eevee with a bow. Oh, so many things I need. So many things. It's really hard to tell myself not to buy all this stuff full price. I try to tell myself that if it's left after Christmas and it's 50% off, then maybe it was meant to be for me to have stuff, but I try not to buy things at full price if I can help myself. If it's something I really love, I will go ahead and pay full price, but that is very rare for me. I like for things to be on sale or on clearance, but it's still really fun to look at, getting to see everything. I love that stitch in the little hula skirt. They got mystery ornaments. 
Now the things that I bought. I bought that set with the Mandalorian. And I also bought this little Jack and Sally set because I thought they were so cute. I could not resist. Out of all the Hallmark ornaments, those were the ones that had to come home with me. They did have a whole table of Harry Potter stuff at the front of the store. They had everything you can imagine. So much cool stuff. Oh, the Jim Shore Christmas collection. I love Jim Shore pieces. They have so much character. They're so cool. I have a few Jim Shore pieces in my Christmas collection, but that is only because I have found them at Goodwill. I don't think I could ever pay full price for a Jim Shore piece. I really love them, but they're so pricey. But if you find one at Goodwill or at a thrift store, you can get a good deal and then it's definitely worth picking up. I'm always a deal shopper, deal hunter. I love clearance stuff. The Precious Moments stuff was so cute. I loved all of these little Precious Moments ornaments, the little dogs and reindeer and so many cute little animals. Really reminds me of being a kid and coloring in Precious Moments coloring books. They had a bunch of Grinch Jim Shore pieces. These were really cool. Like I said, if I had unlimited funds, I would be buying all this stuff. They have a lot of Star Wars ornaments. I do a Star Wars tree at my house. That's one of the trees that I've been doing the last couple of years. I have added a Star Wars tree recently. I love the Charlie Brown and Snoopy stuff. My mom collects Snoopy stuff and I used to read the, the comics every Sunday morning out of the paper so I love seeing the Peanuts gang. I love that Charlie Brown hugging Snoopy. It was too cute. So much stuff that oh, you just want. Like there's not enough shelf space in my house to hold all of the things I would like to have. I really wanted that Wampa picture frame. It's so cool. I think it was like $35 or something though. And I was like, there's no way I can pay that much for a picture frame. No matter how cool it is. But there's some more Jim Shore Christmas pieces. All really cool. More precious moments. I love that little snowman with the skis. So much cute stuff. I really just love it all. When I say I love stuff, I mean it. I love stuff. I love going to the store and looking through all the stuff because I want it all and that's why I have to wait till stuff goes on clearance to buy things because otherwise mm, I'd be really broke. Um, <laughs> they did have a lot of Harry Potter stuff at the front. Like I said, this is the front display. There was a, a serious lack of Ravenclaw merchandise, though, um, I am a Ravenclaw. They had some Halloween stuff, a couple of Jim Shore Halloween pieces, the Hocus Pocus and Mickey and Minnie, and then there was this Jack and Sally with the Zero. The little gnomes are actually pretty cute. So much cool stuff, like... I said, I could really spend a long time in this store. It's so much fun to walk around and look at all the stuff. I'm surprised I didn't push the button on that ghost to see what it did. I think I was too caught up in filming to, to think about it and forgot to press things. This was so cute. I'm surprised I didn't buy this. This little Snoopy has a werewolf and he howls when you squeeze him. I should have bought one of those. He's super cute. I love Snoopy stuff. I love dogs. I have 10 dogs, so I tend to really love anything I find with dogs. They did have the little birthday trains where you get kids a train car every year for whatever age they are and put them all together. They were super cute. They had this Disney princess one and then they have the 
precious moments one with all the animals. I just think those are so cute. I can't imagine what a kid would do once they had them all. I doubt many kids would want all the train cars in their room unless they just happen to love precious moments or Disney princesses. They do have a small fall collection out. Got a Jim Shore turkey, that's pretty cool. They had a lot of Disney stuff out for the 100 year Disney anniversary. So there's a lot of really cool Disney stuff. I love Disney stuff. Most of my house, there's Disney stuff in every room in my house. I, I put Disney stuff everywhere. I love it. I love Mickey Mouse. I love everything. There's not many things I don't love, let's face it. I thought these little guys were super cute, the little plushies. I love looking at the toys and plush and I just collect so many things that it's hard to find something I don't love. Like that little monster there. I have some little monsters from that collection. That guy right there. I got some little monsters of him in my room. I have a purple, a green, and a blue. I just love stuff. And there's so much cool stuff in this store. And so the last thing I'm going to show you is the Squishmallows and Bum Bums that they had in the store. And I did end up picking up a Bum Bum to take home. Um, I bought the Woolly Mammoth. If you've seen that kind of plush, I love them. They are so cute. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the Hallmark store, guys. Um, I hope it made you feel like you were out shopping without having to leave the comforts of your home. And until next time, guys. Bye! Thank you.